in mourning following the Louisville mass shooting that leaves multiple people dead and several others injured. Joining me now to talk about that is Congressman Morgan McGarvey. So thank you so much for being here with us during this difficult time. Now, Congressman, this hits home for you. You were born and raised in this city. So how devastating is it for you to see the country's latest mass shooting happening in this place that you call home? Yeah, it's awful. Uh, it's just it's a complete kick in the gut. You know, one of my friends was one of the victims. I have several friends who've reached out about others of the victims who they were friends with. Um, this this is going to take some time. This is this is one that hurts, and it's going to take a lot of time for us to heal. But I I hope that in our close knit nature we can we can find that strength and resilience to hold on to our neighbors and and try to come back from this. And we heard you say in this morning's press conference that other lawmakers are focused on banning books and pronouns instead of tackling this issue of gun violence and mass shootings. Talk more about that and what you think it's really going to take to prevent even more lives from being lost. I think it's time for lawmakers to come together to listen uh, to law enforcement officials, to listen to the doctors, to listen to the families, the communities, the, the schools who've been ravaged by violence, and recognize that there are policies we can and should put in place that will put public safety and people's lives first. And so whether it's a universal background check, whether it's removing weapons of war, whether it's talking about mental health, getting the mental health support out there that we need, because right now people they don't feel safe where they go to work. They don't feel safe dropping their kids off at school or even just going to the movie theater. And we've got to step in and try and help. But uh, Congressman, some opponents do say that they feel like the situation is being used as an opportunity to take away their guns. I mean, what is what is your reaction to that? This is not political. This is not political. This is about public safety. This is about putting people and their lives over guns. And I, I mean, it's a problem. There have been 146 mass shootings this year, and we're 100 days into 2023. This uniquely American problem starts to subside because we have policymakers who are willing to act like adults, come in the room together, and try and solve this. And earlier, you mentioned trying to help one of the victim's families find out about his status. And you also mentioned losing one of your friends in this mass shooting. I mean, how are you coping with this loss? And how will this change the way in which you might live your life or, or work to create policy moving forward? Yeah, I think yesterday was almost numbness and shock. I mean, I lost a good friend, um, someone I've known for a long time, Tommy Elliott. This is one that hits incredibly close to home. Uh, but I would say that every community where this happens, it rips people's lives apart. And we're gonna have to deal with it here in Louisville. And I think, you know, we're gonna help each other out. We're gonna help each other heal. We're gonna help each other heal. And then, you know, I think really work and really take that message of grief to the state capitol in Frankfurt, to the capitol in Washington. And, and do our best to add our voices to those calling for change and policies that will keep people safe. Congressman, thank you again for being here with us during this difficult time. I really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. And for the latest on this developing situation, visit fox56news.com.